Hey everyone, I'm Sam from the Aragon Growth Guild. Today I'll be showing you how to manage a DAO treasury on the Aragon app. This is my experiment DAO on Polygon and I'm going to start by creating a new transfer. So click this button and then you can choose to deposit assets or withdraw them. So to deposit assets, just copy this contract address. This is the contract of my DAO. And then I can hop over in the MetaMask and I can send some funds. So I'm just gonna paste that. And then I'm just gonna send a couple Matic over to my DAO. Click next, pay a small gas fee and confirm it. And that's all you need to do to deposit assets into your DAO. I can exit out of this pop-up here and in a couple minutes, I'll see the Matic appear in my DAO. Um, I'm gonna be able to see it as one of these here. So while we wait for that to come, let's cover um, the other option, which is to withdraw assets. So withdrawing assets is a couple more steps than depositing because you actually need to create a proposal. So to initiate the withdrawal, I'm going to choose a recipient. So I'm just going to grab my wallet address over here. Okay, paste that in. And I'm on Polygon, so no ENS domains here, um, but I just pasted in my address and then I'm gonna choose a token. So I have eight Matic. Um, and then I'm just gonna send two back to myself. And then you can also add another withdrawal. So this makes it really easy to be able to batch transactions so that uh, if you're paying DAO contributors or you're just trying to send a bunch of funds at once, you don't have to create a million different proposals for each one. You can just have all of the actions in one single proposal that DAO members can approve or deny. So I'm gonna grab another wallet address here and then got some Matic. So I'm gonna send one Matic to this one. So you can, you can keep this going for as many as you need uh, just to make it super easy and fast to send funds. So I'm gonna click next. And then I'm gonna initiate the vote. So we have yes, no, or abstain for options. I'm gonna go with start time now, end date, one day because that is what I set in my DAO governance settings. And then we're going to create a proposal. And then you can add a body, resources, all that good stuff. Click next. Now I'm gonna review the proposal, make sure it's all good. You can see the voting options, um, voting activity, current participation, um, all that evolved. So here you can check over the actions. So these are the actions that will automatically be available to execute if the proposal passes. So I've got one action sending two Matic to this wallet here, and then another action sending one Matic to this other wallet. Okay, now I'm going to publish the proposal. Pay gas fee. This is just five cents. It's pretty good. Okay, confirm it. Now my proposal is ready to vote in. So I'm just gonna hop over into this proposal and I'm gonna cast my vote. Vote now, I'm gonna vote yes, submit your vote. And I'll just pay a small gas fee, it's just three cents to do that. Confirm and then wait for that confirmation. Now I can go back to the proposal and my wallet that I just voted with has most of the voting power, and that means that the proposal is ready to be executed. So I'm gonna click Execute Now. Now that's just four cents. Wait for confirmation. Okay, so go back to the proposal. And now you can see that the actions have been executed. You can open up the Block Explorer here to see the transaction. Um, but let's go into that finance page and let's just check it over. So you can see that the proposal I created was to withdraw three Matic, two to one address, one to another, and then that occurred as soon as I executed that transaction.